Hello, welcome back to Meraki Unboxed. My name is Simon Thompson, host of the show. Thanks very much for joining us again. And today we're going to spend a little bit of time talking about uh, one of our products called Systems Manager. It's a mobile device management product uh, that we've had at Meraki for many, many years. Uh, and it's really one of the gems in our portfolio. Uh, so we want to just explain a little bit about that product and how it can potentially help us, especially in the environment we find ourselves in right now. And speaking of that, I hope you're all keeping well and keeping safe. It's been a challenging year to say the least, but we're keeping on going here on the podcast and keeping those episodes coming out every couple of weeks. And as I always say, I would love to have you be part of this whole uh, performance and so whether that's contributing ideas for shows or even being on the show and, uh, and doing an interview or just having a chat, I'd uh, love to get you on here. So if you've got ideas or you'd like to be a participant, then please do reach out to me on Twitter. My handle there is at Meraki Simon, and I would very much welcome, look forward to hearing from you. All right, so today we're going to get into the show, and I'm very happy to welcome Amelie, who has been with us before. Amelie, welcome back. Thank you for having me. It was always fun to, to do these podcasts with you, Simon. And how have you been keeping over the summer? Keeping well. You know, everything is up in the air, but we do well with adapting to what's coming at us and grateful for the things I have. So we pretty have, good, I would say. We have done pretty well. And um, it's not easy doing this working from home thing. We used to be in the office every single day, uh, enjoying mm -hmm. all of the fruits of the Meraki office. We were very fortunate <laughs> to have all around us and um you know we obviously miss each other very much but we we're doing okay aren't we and and you were mentioning your cat earlier what's your cat's name oh yeah i have a new cat his name is humphrey and he's a british short hair this is the british perfect. like you simon humphrey is such a great name for a cat i love it <laughs> absolutely love it. thank you um so yeah. that that's awesome and so um, amelie's been with us for a number of years now and uh, remind us what you do for us at meraki yeah i've been here for four years love meraki dedicated to the meraki mission I've been doing product marketing for Meraki for the last two and a half years. So really enjoying what we're doing, uh, you know, evangelizing all of our products into the real world and hoping that our listeners and our customers love the products as much as we do. And hopefully it solves their problems too. Well, that's really what the whole theme of this one's all about. I guess it is every single time we do one of these. We're, really, we're mostly interested in how this technology gets applied to the real world. But I think we mm -hmm. decided that um, it would be a nice idea to have a conversation about um, systems manager, uh, maybe before we get into that and we start talking about the, some of the ways in which that product is able to make a little bit of a difference for people this year in particular, uh, maybe let's go back and talk a little bit about the history of it because it's a really old product uh, with Meraki. It's been with us quite a long time. Can you remember the genesis of this one? It started off as an in-house product, a product that we wanted to use specifically just for Meraki employees to make things easier for us. And then we really saw the potential to make this a real product and actually hand it out to customers. Mm -hmm. So um, it really was to solve our need. And then we realized, wow, there is a market potential for securing and managing endpoints. It's That's how it all started. That's a great way of innovating as well. And I think one of the other stories I, I remember about Systems Manager was how quickly it was brought into reality. I think somebody coded the original version of this in a single weekend. Did you hear that one? I did hear that one, yeah. And some of the pioneers of Systems Manager are still here at Meraki today. So it's always great seeing these people really dedicated to Meraki and are still here with us to share the vision and to see where it's going. Right. And, and I think this year has got to be a pretty gratifying one to be part of this team because, you know, it's one of the products that I think is definitely able to provide some help uh, during this challenging time. And I think that's what we really wanted to talk about uh, during this um, episode today. Uh, so let's set the story a little bit. We're mostly talking about this reality, this 2020 reality for so many of us where we're having to work remotely or we're having to learn remotely, uh, whichever of those it is. Uh, that's that's really what we're talking about today, isn't it, Emily? Yes, it is. We're talking about remote work. So what are some of these trends that you've noticed uh, happening? Like, so let's, let's try and put some numbers on it. Yeah, I'm sure everyone knows and probably most of our listeners are working remotely to some capacity. And what we've learned is over time, a lot more jobs are able to be done or completed uh, remotely. And I think some of the survey results and some of the trend reports have been saying that about 25 to 30% of the workforce will remain to be a work from home situation 
for multiple days a week by the end of 2021. So I think forecast is saying that this goes beyond just the COVID story that we're having now. I think it's here to stay. It's amazing what it's doing in our lives. And just before we hit the record button on today's episode, we were talking about uh, San Francisco. And it's a pretty well-known story by now that uh, very expensive metropolises like San Francisco are experiencing quite a shift with people suddenly discovering their ability to work and remain productive even when they're remote. And it's something which is um, very impactful for those of us living in these kind of areas. That is true. Myself included. I'm thinking about maybe leaving the city for a short time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, well, it's amazing. I mean, the technology lets us do that. It's the promise that has been there for, with the internet since the word go. And this year, it's really brought it into sharp focus in so many people's lives. It's pretty interesting. When we think about this technology, though, when we think about trying to move our productivity from an office environment into a virtual space, if you like, there are some mm -hmm. really key elements that we need to maintain I guess the first one that IT people always say, first of all, is, let's see if you guess it, Emily. Security is a top priority. Absolutely. So tell us a bit more about that. There is no doubt in the IT world that security is always a top priority. But I think with remote work, it's even more accentuated that security is even more important than any other time. And I think the reason behind that is because we're no longer restricted to an office setting. As we continue to work towards remote work, the parameter of the network has basically moved out and evolved to a global setting, meaning that everyone is working from home or they're working from, I don't know, their parents' home. They're constantly on the move. However, everyone's requirements are the same. Right. So while we've been able to move around, businesses want to perform the same way that they were prior to COVID. Employees like you and me, we want to continue being productive. We want to continue achieving our goals at work in mm -hmm. our career the same way. So I think for IT teams, it's definitely a, a bigger challenge to ensure that our network is secure and not only our network, but our users and, and, and the devices that they choose to use. Right. It, it's really the foundation. We ha you can't really do anything uh, productivity wise, if you don't have a secure way of doing it. Uh, and so, yes, absolutely. Hugely important. You reminded me of the old saying, I remember saying this when I was first trying to justify a job working from home with my boss, who was a little bit skeptical. And it was, it was a, it's a bit of a cliche that work is a thing I do, not a place I go. And it's so true. Wow. It's so true. Yeah. It, it really is. And, and if we can put that security in place, then there's no reason why we can't be more mobile. And I guess mobility is another key one, right? Yes. Mobility is, I think, even bigger now because, I mean, we're all working from home, but home can mean so many things to all of us. Home could be a short-term vacation rental that you decided to take on a three-day weekend, or home could be back at your parents' place. Home mm -hmm. could still be in the same apartment that you've been living in. And so because it's so dynamic, we have to expect that the technology that we use can cater towards how fast we're moving while producing the same kind of productivity. Right. But there's one thing that IT departments still need to have. So again, we, we talked about security and you know we need to be able to trust the networks and the confidentiality of our company sensitive information. But for IT teams, there's another type of, if you like, a change that they experience when their employees move from the office to that sort of mobile, remote situation, wherever it happens to be. Um, so tell us a little bit about that. So the thing about IT teams, we like to say at Meraki that not all IT teams are built the same way. Not all IT teams have the same amount of resources, have the same number of teammates to help secure, protect, and also manage the entire network. And because there's so many solutions out there, not everyone has the same kinds of solutions. And I'm sure some of our listeners and definitely people around the world, not everyone has cloud services, cloud applications, cloud technology as a whole. Mm -hmm. And so when you're dealing with more traditional approach where you have on-premise solutions, Something that IT teams are facing is the lack of visibility into the organization, into the network. Right. And because they're no longer in the office, they have to struggle to figure out how am I able to know exactly what's going on in my network if I'm no longer in the office. And I think this is why we're seeing now more than ever the value of cloud technology 
it's great to see that Meraki is part of this technology because it makes it so much easier for our customers to go from the office and now to a remote work setting. It's almost seamless. It gives them the confidence. It's again about providing confidence to the organization so that if we're able to, if we believe we have a secure environment wherever our employees are, and we believe that we can see you know, how well our network is functioning and how well our employees are connecting to the different services they use, then mm -hmm. we're going to feel more comfortable about a longer term remote work reality, I guess. Exactly. And I mean, everyone's facing changes, but even in our Meraki situation, uh, I think for us, we haven't faced that much changes in terms of how we operate, right? Because we use Meraki in our own environment. Mm -hmm. IT teams are able to function pretty well, and we were able to adapt to this change quickly. But for a lot of people out there, they've lost a large percentage of their business network traffic. And so how do they get visibility and understanding into what their remote workforce is doing? Right. And so I think for this purpose, a, a centrally managed cloud-based type of solution like Meraki is the ideal choice. Yes, it definitely helps a lot. And I, I think we, we never really appreciated it as much as we're appreciating it this year. Um, it was already fantastic to have that ability that we take so much for granted, as you said, Emily, because we do this every day. But, you know, this <laughs> ability to log on from anywhere where you've got an internet connection and, you know, get complete visibility of your network and be able to troubleshoot and help people uh, if they are in a remote working situation. I mean, that's incredibly powerful. And uh, all of these stories are true of people being able to troubleshoot while they're on the train, on their commute, uh, or if they're lying on the beach. We, I think we even have an example of somebody who did that once. Maybe more <laughs> than one, and they just didn't admit to it. But uh, the, the exactly. reality is it's, it's doable. It's perfectly doable. Cool. So um, I think what we want to do is talk a little bit about how Systems Manager itself contributes to uh, some of these priorities that organizations have as they support uh, remote working and and also remote learning for those who are supporting uh, school kids and and university college students and so on. So let's walk into some of the features that the product has that can potentially help us in this regard. So um, what have you got for us today? Yeah, let's start off with just a general statement of Systems Manager, Simon. We have Systems Manager is an endpoint management solution. So it's completely software. Its main purpose is to allow you to provision and deploy mobile devices. And when I say mobile devices, I don't mean just cell phones or mobile phones. I also mean, you know, your iPads, your Android tablets. It could be Chromebooks as well. Mm -hmm. So it's just an ability to manage all of these devices, prepare them for the workforce so that they have all the appropriate applications on there, also with the proper security policies deployed so that they're ready to be used effectively and efficiently. Right. I think there's quite a few different aspects to that and different scenarios we can imagine as well. I mean, uh, just today, uh, somebody else joined my team, which I was uh, super happy about. And so welcome to that person. You know who you are. <laughs> um, but but uh, they went through this experience directly and had this laptop shipped to them because they couldn't go to the office to pick it up. Uh, and mm -hmm. the reality is that straight away, the IT team can start pushing applications out to that device. They can start monitoring it and making sure that it's uh, it's providing the or the ability for that new hire to be productive from day one. Exactly. In this specific use case of onboarding new hires to your organization, Systems Manager solutions in the MDM world, mobile device management, is the perfect solution to get those devices uh, ready and shipped to your new hires. Mm -hmm. All right. So yeah. what are some of these features that uh, that really help us particularly we want to draw attention to today? Of course. So one of the first things we started off with was security is a top priority. And to cater towards security, Systems Manager is perfect for that. One of the key features I'd like to talk about is our Sentry VPN feature. This is the ability to configure and set up VPN so that mobile devices can connect to the corporate network without any other hurdles. Mm -hmm. And the thing about Sentry VPN is that it also ties in very nicely with one of our other product lines, the MX or SD-WAN appliances. Mm -hmm. And the cool integration there is when you set up VPN on your mobile devices, you can actually deploy the security policies that you did on your firewall layer and push them out to your end devices. 
So all of those settings that you had done when you were creating your network, you can push them down to your mobile devices as well. And that happens in just one click. So it's very easy. And it also ensures that all your security policies are consistent throughout your entire network and are pushed out to all devices, no matter where they're located. Mm. So I can see that that has benefits, um, not only, I mean, we talked about that new hire situation. Uh, it mm -hmm. means that new hire can have the appropriate policies pushed out, even if their laptop was not pre-staged and pre-configured before. As long as it's got that profile on it, then you can start to you know, put those policies in, make sure that they have the appropriate levels of protection and access as you need them to have. Um, but I guess yes. also the benefit, even for existing employees, is that you can go in and tweak those things if you need to make a change for any reason. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. So for the IT team, it, it's very easy for them to deploy security policies consistently while providing a secure way to get access to, you know, your work email or uh, maybe your school applications all through VPN. Mm -hmm. And that is the way to go these days, because, as you know, cyber attackers are always on the works so they're always trying to figure out a way in and this is one way to to mitigate that sure so um do you have any good use cases for this that we can share yeah for sure um so let's talk about ourselves for the moment so i have my own cell phone i have two cell phones and one of them i have systems manager downloaded onto the device so systems manager ultimately manages my device in the sense that it knows what i'm doing and keeps it secure. Mm -hmm. And because I have the systems manager profile on my phone, I'm able to get onto the Meraki VPN directly on my cell phone. And I can work from the cell phone all day if I wanted to. Right. Similar to how I have VPN on my MacBook Pro. As similar it is to my phone, the MacBook Pro also has systems manager downloaded on it. And that is why I have a VPN setting into Meraki. And I'm able to work as if I'm in the office, but I'm at home instead. And I have access to everything and it functions seamlessly. And if I do something fishy, do you get the, the pun I'm, there? Because it's fishy. Oh, very good. Very good. <laughs> oh, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> if I do something fishy, uh, then Meraki will be alerted and I might have some of my privileges revoked. And that can be done automatically, whether through our APIs or the IT team can have that ready to go on the dashboard as well. And this is a solution that we have quite broad use, right? This is not even just the Meraki team that's using this technology, but obviously the customers who've who've chosen it. But um, as a proof case, it would be hard to imagine better than the, the Cisco IT organization, right? This is pretty broad deployment that we're using at this point. Yes. Uh, thank you for highlighting the Cisco IT story. Um, yeah, and I think we're moving, you know, from VPN, I think we're moving a little bit onwards to the general bring your own device use case mm -hmm. or BYOD use case. And yes, recently, uh, as of the beginning of the year, one of our largest advocates of systems manager is our Cisco IT team. And they deployed a BYOD protocol with systems manager for over 60,000 devices. Oh. And that's a huge ton of devices. And the experience for the BYOD use case is really nice. And what it's really allowing employees, Cisco employees to do is you're giving them the opportunity to decide whether or not they want to have access to all their corporate needs on their personal phone. And if they do, they have the choice to download a systems manager on their mobile devices mm -hmm. so that they can start working normally uh, right away. Yeah, and it's just and that much flexibility, isn't it? So if you have a specific device is. that you want to be able to work on, that's fine. But you mm -hmm. obviously quite legitimately, if you're going to be connecting into highly sensitive company data and, and uh, services, the company needs to have that assurance that it's a secured environment. That's what mm -hmm. Systems Manager allows you to do. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And this, uh, and this solution is very flexible. The creative thing that Cisco IT did was they created their own Cisco employee app. And from that app that you download on your phone, that's how you get onboarded onto Systems Manager. And through this app, once you download Systems Manager, you can have access to all of your corporate applications, your VPN, everything. So if you have enough resources on your team and you wanted to create your own personalized app, you can do that and tie into Systems Manager. Oh, nice. So you're not even just restricted to well-known apps that we all use every day as part yes. of our work, but you can, you can even build your own 
private um, application as well. Yes, definitely takes more heavy duty work, but for a size like Cisco, it made sense. Right, it exactly. catered towards their needs. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Large organizations can handle the heavy duty stuff, no problem at all. Okay, so we touched on earlier on about getting these devices on in the first place, like getting them set up. So how do we do that for different kinds of uh, devices out there? Because there are so many different kinds, right? Yeah, this is one of the more popular questions that I hear from customers and people who are interested is how quickly and easily can we enroll devices into Systems Manager? And the answer is it's quite simple. We have two programs, Apple DEP and Android Zero Touch Enrollment. These two programs, you know, they cater towards Apple devices and Android devices. And this is just for our IT teams to rapidly and automatically deploy Deploy Systems Manager into devices on mass scale. So if I'm an IT person and I ha happen to just purchase a thousand iPhones for my work, mm -hmm. I can now automatically push out Systems Manager on a thousand different devices in one instance simultaneously. I don't have to do it manually for each device at a time. Right. So and scale. It's, so, it's all about scale. Yeah. Yeah. It's all about scale. And I'm sure you're an Apple user, Simon, so you probably know with Apple devices, you have to have an Apple ID associated, all mm -hmm. of that stuff. So that pain of having to need an Apple ID for each device is removed completely with Apple DEP because you only need a single Apple ID to uh, manage all thousand devices or however many devices you have. Right. And I, and I remember that being useful in certain situations as well, where you're, where you're in a situation where devices are being shared or you don't necessarily uh, have a specific one assigned to yourself. You can still get access to what you need in this way, right? Did I get that right? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you got it perfectly. And it's the same type of model for Android Zero Touch as well. Same idea, just for Android mm -hmm. devices. This enables us to get the devices uh, enrolled properly. And then I think one of the other cool tricks that I've seen, it sounds like such a simple thing, but its power is really impressive, which is this ability to push out applications to devices en masse or to subsets of mm -hmm. users, like a department, for example. That is correct, yes. Yeah. So once you get your, your devices ready to go, the next step is making sure that you provision the devices to your liking, you know, get those devices ready with the applications you want to push out. And with Systems Manager, because it's over a beautifully created dashboard, everything is easy. You drag and drop, you can purchase application en masse as well, mm -hmm. and you push it out to all the devices. And there's a whole load of applications to choose from. And you're not only limited to the app stores or the Google Play Store, you're also able to push out customized applications as well. So I know several customers have their own application. They like to push that out to their own devices as well. Mm -hmm. That's like we were saying before. And in the education space, I know this is also quite a helpful tool to be able to push applications, but also to help teachers uh, have their kids remain more focused. How do, yes. we, how do we do that? So for, for the education world, when you give out tablets or iPads to students and they're learning from home now, you can limit the number of applications to just the required applications for their studying hours. Mm -hmm. So instead of having an iPad with all the study materials, but also all the games and access to the internet and the simple browser, you're actually allowing the student to be more focused so they're not doing other things while while being in a virtual classroom because ultimately it's very hard for a teacher to monitor what a student is doing while she's giving her virtual lecture she or he can't possibly monitor every single student especially when they're not in the same classroom anymore definitely not so this is one way to do that mm -hmm. yeah and it's and if there's one thing we've learned about this being at home business whether we're employees or we've got kids at school trying to learn it's focus Really a tough challenge, I think, for, for all of us, especially those who weren't previously working from home, hadn't already figured this out. It's the thing which you've really got to try to nail. So I guess anything we can do to help in that regard. And I guess this tool could be used by employees as well, but uh, that would be entirely up to your <laughs> IT teams. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, so that, that's been a pretty good uh, review, if you like, of, of some of the strengths that Systems Manager has in this crazy time we're in. 
Uh, what's mm-hmm. new? So we got we got something new we can share. Yeah, as of a few weeks ago, we released a new feature, and this is exciting because it's a joint effort between the Meraki team at Cisco, but also Duo at Cisco. Mm-hmm. Um, for those of you who do not know Duo, Duo is a authentication software solution. So it allows you to ensure that it's the right person and the right device requesting access to critical applications. And what we've done with the Duo team is we've created a solution that integrates both Systems Manager and Duo. And ultimately, it's allowing users to secure the device and also secure their applications. So for IT teams, it's really awesome because it's a one-stop shop for securing devices and applications. It's hassle-free. You know, the licensing model is, is very simple as well. Mm-hmm. And so ultimately with this feature, what it's doing is if your device is managed by Systems Manager, Duo is like a, think of it as a security guard. He or she is checking to see if your device is managed by Systems Manager. Mm-hmm. And if you are managed by Systems Manager, the guard will give you access to some of the critical applications you're re- requesting access to. Mm. Right, because Duo lets us provide different settings for, or to provide a set of applications to an an individual user. So this is a way to try and match the user with uh, with the applications they have access to, right? That is correct. And that way it also ensures that not all devices can access the same applications. Mm -hmm. So only specific devices with the right criteria can have access to the applications that are critical to the business right that's also important as i guess it's the things like the software level that's running on that device to make sure that it's Mm -hmm. up to date and patched exactly yeah Yeah, and you know with the rise in cyber attacks especially because a lot of our services that we use day to day are now over the cloud Mm -hmm. there's just going to be a lot of potential for threats to come the way so this is a great way to secure your devices and your services and applications that's great. That's a, a real helpful addition there. Um, is it something which is easy for existing systems manager customers to to try out? Oh, yeah, definitely. In fact, if you want to learn more about this integration or this feature, we do have a live webinar next week, September 10th, and we'll have both Meraki and Duo teams presenting the webinar if you want to learn more about how to deploy and how to use it and what you need to get started. Mm. Okay, this sounds like a golden opportunity. So if, if anybody's listening ahead of that date, if you go to meraki.cisco.com forward slash webinars, uh, I'm sure you'll find it there and you'll be able to sign up. And we often have a lot of our most uh, popular webinars uh, recorded as well for future access on demand. So if you did miss it live, then uh, by all means, come back and check it out. Okay, so um, thanks a lot, Amelie. Uh, that's been a really nice um, review. Uh, is there anything else that we want to share? Any kind of next steps that people can take? Perhaps, uh, I mean, uh, we've assumed that, that uh, there are a lot of people who know Systems Manager or know something about it, but there's going to be some who will be completely new to it. Maybe they want to try it out. Uh, what would you recommend? Yeah, I would highly recommend for all listeners and those interested to visit our Remote Work Solutions page. It's a brand new web page dedicated to remote work. Um, highlighting all sorts of solutions that we have here at Meraki for you. And of course, over there, you can find more systems manager resources. So definitely check that page out. And I kind of wanted to end this podcast on a quick summary of systems manager and why it's the right fit for the remote workforce. And a few things to keep in mind, it's how easy and simple it is to use. So whether you are a one-person team managing a ton of devices to a large company like Cisco managing thousands and thousands of devices, a systems manager is a perfect fit for you because you can have access, visibility into your devices across multiple operating systems, and you have security, mobility, and visibility all in one place, so you never have to worry about that. And you can get going and be ready for the remote work beyond COVID. Yes. So we want to have that flexibility beyond that as well. Although I'm very much looking forward to uh, being able to have a meeting in the office, have a cup of coffee in the office, (laughs) you know, chat by the water cooler, all of that stuff. I want those snacks back. We want those snacks back. Yes, indeed. Absolutely. Uh, Let it be so. All right. Thanks a lot, Emily. That's been really helpful to walk through with you today. Uh, so really appreciate you coming on the show to talk about that. And, and as you heard, 
uh, ladies and gentlemen. Systems Manager is, well, it's one of obviously a portfolio, a suite of products we like to call the Meraki platform uh, that you can build your business on or you can even build other applications on. And Systems Manager is, is definitely an important one for uh, the remote work story. That's the key thing that we wanted to convey for you because uh, you know without any hardware, you can actually start to take control of those devices and make this a bit more of a long-term proposition if that's what you're looking to do. Thank you, Simon. Thank you. And so once again, Meraki Unboxed, we're back here, hopefully all being well in a couple of weeks' time. And uh, as I said at the start of the show, if you'd like to take part or just send in an idea, please reach out to me on Twitter, at Meraki Simon. You can also jump on to the Meraki community. It's a great place to, to talk about uh, all of the topics we've covered today or any of the topics on, on the many podcasts. I think we're up to about 32 or 33 episodes now. Uh, so you can do that at uh, community.meraki.com. Definitely recommend you check that out as well. Otherwise, we'll be back here a couple of weeks. Take care until then. Stay safe. And we'll see you soon. Bye for now.